kids. Welcome to Kids Corner. I'm Pastor Michelle. This is baby Claire. This is Knut the cat in my lap. And this is Watson the dog right over here who's not completely in the shot. Can you come over here? Come here. Sit. Thank you. So today we are going to talk about Advent. Now, guys, last week was Thanksgiving, right? We got to share about our thankful hearts. What makes us thankful? We talked about a couple of weeks ago, we, right? Well, can you, you're gonna go sit over there? Okay. Well, this week, after Thanksgiving, is the start of Advent. And Advent is a really cool time when we do a countdown to Christmas. Advent means waiting. And we wait and wait for Christmas to arrive. And Christmas, you know, is Jesus' birthday, and we'll get more into it this week. Now, I have this really cool book that a friend gave us called The Advent Storybook, 24 Stories to Share Before Christmas. And see, Advent technically starts the, the, four, the four Sundays before Christmas, but a lot of calendars we start on December 1st. And so this one, today we're gonna read the first Advent story in here, because it's a good story about God, and it's about Benjamin Bear, a baby bear, and learning about the star with a tail. And it's a, it's a good reminder for us as we begin the countdown to Christmas. So here we go. On December 1st, just before bed, Benjamin Bear opened the first door on the Advent calendar. Oh look, a star with a tail, he cried. I know you want to turn the pages, Claire. Here. Once upon a time, there was a little bear just like you. He discovered a star one night shining in the sky above in his cave. He had never seen such a bright star before. It was a very special star indeed because the little bear, full of curiosity, felt compelled to follow it. He ran over the hills and mountains, swam across a wide river, and climbed the steepest rocks. But the little bear finally got so tired that he had to stop and rest. He lay down and fell fast asleep. When he woke, he sprang up in a panic. My star! Where is my star? I have lost my star! How surprised he was to see the tail of the star shining brighter than the sun. The little bear set out again relieved and even more determined to follow the wondrous star. When Mother Bear finished the story, Benjamin pointed to the star. Look at its, sh at its shine, he said happily. Yes, said Mother. Remember that God is with you night and day to show you your way. The story of the star, that story, but there's also a star in the Bible that we'll talk more about during this time, this next month, about the star that shines over Bethlehem to point the wise men and the shepherds on their way to find baby Jesus. And that is a good reminder, that story that Mother Bear says, that the star shines to point the way and guide us day and night. That God is our shining star that points our way in our lives, even when we're scared in the dark, some of us get scared of the dark, right? Even when we're not knowing where to go, God is always with us, shining brightly. So as we begin this Advent season, this time before Christmas, the Christmas countdown, let us remember that God is always with you and shining brightly back. So the activity this week is, I want you guys, when the clouds you know, burn away, because sometimes we get a lot of clouds out here in Grace Harbor. And you look up, and you look to the stars, and see stars shining bright, and remember that stars the promise, that God is with us day and night, that God comes down as a baby on Christmas time. So every time you look at stars, remember that. God sent a star to guide the wise men and the shepherds. So let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for this time together. Thank you for sending your guiding star. Thank you for being with us day and night, especially when we get scared. 
and thank you for Jesus who came down as a baby to show us to love each other, love our neighbors. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. All right, kids, thank you for joining us for Kids Corner, and we will see you again next week. Take care. Bye. Say bye. Bye.